Hey there, it is Dusty Thunder with another gosh heckin' Reddit story for you. This one comes from the AITA subreddit, and it's titled, Am I the Astronaut for Allowing My Ex-Wife Into My Home? Early yesterday evening, my ex-wife came to pick up our son from home. At the time, my wife and I had a few visitors over for dinner. The visitors included her sister and husband, but were mostly friends. Usually, my ex phones our son when she's downstairs. We live in an apartment building, and he goes down to meet her. Yesterday, she called our son as usual, but asked him to ask me if she could come up because one of her younger kids needed to use the bathroom. I obviously said yes. She came up with her three younger kids. She didn't know we had company, so apologized for interrupting before taking the kids to our bathroom. On her way out, a couple of the guests stopped her for a quick chat. Friends I've had since she and I were married, but it was only for a few minutes. My son gave his little sibling some of the snacks that were out for the guests. After they left, my wife's sister was quick to call my ex rude for barging in. One of the friends replied to her, saying something about small kids' bladders, and nothing more was said about it. However, after everyone but my wife's sister had left, my wife and her sister started talking about it and both agreed that it was rude and tacky. They couldn't believe she started talking to some of our friends. When I objected, they said it was wrong of me to have let her in without asking my wife first. I said, that's ridiculous. Later, my wife and I discussed it again, and she said she found it embarrassing for me to just let her in like that. I asked why, but she said I wouldn't understand. Am I really the asshole here? I was trying to do a normal, nice thing, but now I feel bad about upsetting my wife. Okay, I... Don't see anything wrong with this. Uh, However, if there is some kind of precedent that would lead OP to think that there could be a conflict or that it could cause drama, I would hope that he would at least be like, hey, yo, heads up. She's coming up because, because little one has to pee. And I said it was okay. Fair warning. Giving a heads up would have been a good idea, right? That would have been a good idea because then everybody could have mentally prepared for it. If nobody knew she was coming in and then she came in and it changed things. This is an insecurity thing, though, because I'm going to go out on a limb here and say there was no precedent that would lead OP to believe that. Otherwise, he hopefully would have communicated that. So this was an out of character thing for his wife to get upset about. I think it was an out of character thing to get upset about because her sister got her riled up. Sister seems like a shit stirrer to me. She's like Liv from, uh, what's the show? Love Island. Liv seems like a shit stirrer. A shit starter. Shit stirrer? Both. Both. Some people like to start shit. Whether it's intentional or it's accidental, it's, it's something that some people are really good at, getting other people fired up. It's like, if, if it had just been you two, let me put it this way. If it had been you two and, and other friends and your wife's sister was not there, would this have happened, OP? Or did sister just get her riled up? Don't start no shit, don't, won't be no shit. Beer today, there you go. The siblings could have taken them. It doesn't matter. This is, this. Is, yeah, Candy Thunder says, wife is insecure AF. It's a child needing to use the bathroom. Sister is a one for me, wife is a two. I would agree with that. I think, uh, OP, you are NTA here, assuming there was no precedent that would lead you to believe that this would cause any bullshit. We have, we have to learn, right? So if this something like this has happened before and you thought, uh, okay, I, I probably need to give a heads up or I was worried that something might happen, but you didn't hesitate. So I'm going to say that's not an issue here. But the sister for just trying to stir up shit, she's like, I could see this playing out too. I could film this. Like I could cast people and film this and recreate it pretty well, which I think we should do for some stories. I think we should like film it. We have the capacity to do that. We could just start reenacting Reddit stories, but actually have it play out. That'd be hilarious. What do you think about that? This would be that situation where she walks in and sister immediately corners her, corners OP's wife and is like, did you see what that bitch did? Are you going to let that fly in your home? Are you going to let her disrespect you? Did you see how Bob and Carol just went and started talking to her? Like nothing ever f-ing changed. Like you aren't here. Are you going to let that happen in your home? You better get over there and say something. Go now. You say something. Shit starter. Shit starter. I see this happen a lot. I, I see this happen a lot because, because of Love Love Island, mainly, um, which we haven't watched in a while. We didn't watch anything while we were on vacation. It was wild. Um, it was on, on Love Island, you see a lot of people convince people that they have been wronged and then drama unfolds. 
Otherwise, left to their own devices, nothing would have happened at all. But someone comes over and gets them puffed up, and then they march over there and they start some shit. And it's like, like clockwork. It just happens over and over and over and over again. I don't think those people are your friends. It, and either sister here is doing this because she truly, I, I don't know. What, what would, what would the, what's the point? What's the point, guys? If, why would sister do this? Sister just loves drama. Some people just thrive on drama. Is that, is that what you think would motivate? What would her motive be? What's the sister's motive? Sister feels comfortable because his wife has given her that right to. Comfortable enough to start shit? Did wife express to sis in the past about X? Maybe that's a system of errors. Maybe it's it's an insecurity thing where, where wife has confided in her sister about this insecurity or, or complains to her about things that OP's ex does, and that gave her the ammo to fuel the fire here. And Netflix series, yeah, it'll be like a Black Mirror, but um, but Reddit story reenactments, just crazy shit. Uh, it sounds like we're going to have to check out OK Storytime. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Yeah, you're right, beer today. <sighs> Sis just doesn't like hubby. That's possible too. Entirely possible. Well, uh, OP, you got the NTA from us. Uh, your wife, though, escalated to ask on two here because of a bad influence. Her sister, who is an ask on one. So um, I don't know how you go about fixing this in OP's shoes. I don't know how you go about being like, hey, if your sister hadn't come over and got you all puffed up, would would you have been upset about this? Because then she's going to be on, she's already on the defensive. You're not going to be able to broach this in conversation. I don't know. I don't know how you move forward from this. I would say move forward in an uh, uh, observation fashion. See if your wife gets more irritated or if drama is more likely to occur when sister is involved. And you might actually try to track that somehow. I don't know how you do that. Like, make a note. I don't know. But if at some point you can be like, hey, um, out of the past 20 problems that we've had, past 20 disagreements that we had, uh, 17 have been fueled by your sister. It's hard to argue with math, right? Now, that's me. That could be the absolute worst thing to do. You ladies will have to let me know. I, I'd bring math into it. And that's probably a terrible idea. 